Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a super, super minimalistic, natural, glowy makeup look. I've actually just gotten back from spending a week on the Gold Coast and this is the makeup that I did for that week straight. Casey came and stayed for like the last couple of days and we took heaps of photos, got heaps of content for Instagram. And this is the makeup that I was wearing in all of those photos. So I'm really excited to show you guys how I achieved this super natural, glowy look. There aren't actually too many products involved which is really really good because it just means that it keeps it simple it's great for when you're traveling like I was last week because you don't have to pack as many things you'll see a couple of my new favorite products from Bali body and this video is in collaboration with them so some of you guys might be familiar with Bali body already they are known like absolutely known on Instagram for their glowy tanning shimmery products so I wanted to show you guys some of them in use today specifically their BB cream their coconut lip balm and the shimmering oil, which I've currently got all over my decolletage and I'm kind of obsessed. Like I look so glowy all over my body right now. This is literally what my skin and my body looked like the whole time we were at the Gold Coast. So I kind of feel like I'm reliving my holiday right now and just pretending like I'm not back to reality, but really I am. So I wanted to share this with you guys today. So if you want to see how to achieve this natural glowing makeup look, then just keep watching. Oh, also this video is going to be a voiceover because for some reason my neighbors are being super, super noisy today. They must be home from work and school. And then there's a lot of construction happening around my house as well. So for my own sanity and for yours while you're watching this, I'm going to keep it to a voiceover. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> Uh, uh, starting off with jokes. What a funny one. Okay. Anyways, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs coconut primer to start off with. This is a really hydrating formula, which obviously is great when we want to do dewy skin. And then I'm moving on to the Bali Body BB Cream. This is in the shade Natural. And this product is really, really cool. So it's got SPF 15 in it, which is obviously amazing. We love it when base products come with SPF. It's quite a thick formula, but it's really, really lightweight on the skin. So as you can see here, I'm just dotting it all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush to blend it out. Honestly though, when I was at the Gold Coast, like I said, I wore this nearly every day and I just applied it with my hands then. Just kind of like rubbed it in with my fingers like you would with a moisturizer. It's so much quicker and easier to apply that way, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to use a brush to keep my hands nice and clean. Um, so yeah, it's super, super blendable, super easy. And as you can see here, it just leaves the most beautiful natural glow in your skin, but it also helps to neutralize any redness or any kind of discoloration that you've got as well. So now I'm just going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, and I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit of this underneath my eyes to help highlight and conceal my bags. <laughs> I don't know why, but my under eyes were pretty dark this day. So I just decided to keep it kind of minimal. I didn't want this look to end up cakey or anything like that. And this product can be quite dry sometimes. So I did blend it out with a damp beauty blender to help soak up any excess, but also help to keep it hydrated as well. And just to set my under eyes, I'm taking the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I am really, really lightly tapping this on, guys. I wanted to use as little powder as possible for this look, just so that it stays nice and hydrated and glowy. And now I'm taking the Maybelline Dream Matte Blush. This is a cream blush in the shade Koi Coral. Super, super pretty. I like to apply it with my beauty blender just because I feel like I've got a little bit more control. Sometimes with cream blushes, if you go in a little bit too heavy, it can look a bit crazy. So I always pat it in really, really lightly with the beauty blender. And then I always go back in with like the foundation brush or any like residue foundation just to make sure that it is really, really blended in. And now I'm taking my Hourglass Vanish Highlighter Stick. This is, again, another cream product. This is the shade Champagne Flash, and it is beautiful. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my ring finger and kind of pat it into all of the normal areas where I would apply powder highlight. So like the top of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my brow bone, just kind of all over. Um, and this just creates a really, really natural, dewy look. Thank you. 
Next up I'm taking the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm just using this to lightly fill in my brows. I'm really lucky I've got my eyebrows microbladed so there isn't too much that needs to be done here. I'm pretty much just filling in any sparse areas and any gaps. Um, usually when I do my eyebrows I use like three other products on top of this pencil so yes this is like a very light eyebrow for me but it's perfect for this natural look. Next up I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Powder in the shade Dim Light and I'm using this to kind of set all of those cream products in place. This is a really cool product because it's a powder but it doesn't leave your skin looking matte or powdery. It's got like a light reflect in it so I guess it helps to make your skin look dewy which is weird, it doesn't make sense in my mind, like a powder that makes your skin look dewy, but it just does and it's amazing. So now I'm just taking a little bit more highlighter cause you can never have enough. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin and I'm just kind of layering it on top of where I put that Hourglass Cream Highlighter before. Now I'm just going to spray some MAC Fix Plus all over my face just to help set everything in place but also help to keep my skin nice and hydrated because like I've already said a billion times in this video, hydration is key for like a natural glowy look. And now just taking my Marc Jacobs Noir, Velvet Noir I think it's called, this is the mascara. I have only used this a few times now but I actually really really like it. I love how it makes my lashes look. My lash lift sadly has gone now so I'm having to curl my lashes again. I honestly hate curling my lashes but if I don't it looks like I literally have none so there we go. Now I'm just lightly lining and filling in my lips with this Nude by Nature lip pencil. I think this is the shade Coral. It's just a really really natural pretty colour. And then I'm going to go over the top with the Barley Body Coconut Lip Balm. This is super, super hydrating, super glossy. It's got SPF 15 in it, so it's perfect for those warm summer days when you're gonna be out and about. Never forget SPF on your lips, guys. I feel like it gets overlooked a lot. SPF is great for your skin and your lips. You don't want those bad boys getting burnt. And now for the finishing touch, I'm going to apply some of the Bali Body Shimmering Body Oil to my decolletage. This literally makes me look like Edward Cullen when the sun hits him. Like super, super glistening, super glowy, like just amazing. I will say it can get on your clothes, so just be really careful that you don't get it on your clothes when you're applying it. Like ideally, you probably want to put this on when you're naked, but I was not going to do that for this video. It does come out in the wash though if you get it on your clothes, like it comes out really, really easily, so don't stress. But yeah, it's an oil, so again, it keeps your body looking super glowy and hydrating, but because it's an oil, it does easily transfer. So just be really, really careful with that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> look at that. Edward Cullen, what is up? So that brings us to the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is such an easy, easy, achievable look, like a lot more natural than a lot of looks that I've done on my channel. So I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Come away,